Yep. Yeah, we need to go up to the other, yeah. the other has the work. <laughs> okay. My left uh, or your left? Is that it? That's it. You got the ratchet? Or, no, I do. Oh, Solar got... panel! Don't do it for him. What are you doing right now? Uh, we stripped this, we stripped this part off there, and I'm just trying to cut the excess off there. Cut the what? Excess off there. You mean excess? Excess. Excess. You know what I meant. <laughs> now what are you gonna do? Strip the wires about a few inches. No, you don't have to on that one. Let me show you one. Look, see the switch? Let me just plug. Yeah. yeah. All you gotta do is run it in there and tighten up the bolt. You don't have to curl it around the bolt. You just run it in there and tighten up the bolt. Oh, that's something different. So you bought that far. See that? Do I strip it? I bought that far. Okay. That's 12 gauge wire too, so you can put it on 12 on the stripper. We're at it. What color's the black go to? Uh, the, uh, gold. You need to talk mama through it. No, I'm just gonna get this gold right here. And, uh, gotta hook it up to the hot water, the black water. What does the gold mean? I don't know, honestly. Haven't done this in so long. What is the black wire for? Hot water. And then I'm gonna put it. Hot what? Hot water. And then I'm gonna <laughs> put it. I'm gonna put it through that little hole right there. Uh huh. Just put the water. The water through. Put the what through there? The water. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna tighten up the bolt. So I can remember what direction to run it. You've been in Tennessee for four months. Five months? What's well, called a war? A war? So I put the black in there. Hot out. You see it? With the gold screws? Yep. And I just put it in between that plate right there. And next what I'm going to do, we're going to take this hot war. And I'm going to put it right there on the silver. And I'm just going to do the same thing with it. Just put it through that little hole right there. And just tighten up a bolt. A screw. So now I got it in there like that. You see it? Mm -hmm. So next thing I'm going to do is there's only one green, one green screw right there. And there's not another one on the other side. So I'm just going to hook this. You got to curl that wire. Just gonna hook this right there. You know how to curl the wire? Yeah, I've, this, we curled it in a egg. Okay. So I'm just gonna. Oh it's in pars.
What's the matter? Huh? What's not gonna work? What I'm doing. Then why are you doing it? I'm just, I need to leave those two at the tab and have the one in that spot. I, think. I really don't know what I'm doing, so I'm improvising like I always do. <laughs> I think we've always learned by winging it in our life. Are we going to have outlet power up here too? Mm -hmm. Okay. The exterior plug right over here on this wall, wired in through the, um, whatever that thing's called, that to take that part out. <laughs> wired in through the wall and into the inverter, and then we can make us a cord to run to the generator if our batteries get low so we have three or four cloudy days lots of snow or rain and our battery gets low we can just plug in to that outlet and start the generator and it will charge the battery back up and that's a temporary fix until we get our solar panels put up yes but this is going to stay in permanently in case you have several days even with our panels and you have several days of cloudy weather or snow Mm -hmm. or whatever and the batteries get a little low you just plug it in crank the generator up run it for a little while until your battery life gets back up to where it needs to be okay got it so, so i just want to walk you through our power system that we have going right now it's up and we have lights uh so we can see what we're doing and we can work in here and at night time we can turn the lights on and see it's like it's almost like normal um but if you'll come in a little closer here, I'll show you. Um, we're running on this 4.3 kilowatt hour battery right now from bigbattery.com. Um, this right here is supplying our house with power right now. Um, it's holding good. Um, this is our uh, power inverter that changes the DC power into usable AC power for us. So. All of our normal appliances work, a normal refrigerator, coffee maker, um, our normal lights. Um, and then it's all connected together. Here's a fuse, our bus bars, our fuse box. And then this right here, this midnight uh, solar uh, charge controller from, I got it from Missouri Wind and Solar. Um, when we get our solar panels hooked up, this right here will be what uh, brings the power in from, from the panels outside and controls all of our usage. It determines where the power goes to. Um, it's powered up right now, but there's no power coming in from outside because I haven't, I'm wait, we're waiting on our uh, mounting uh, hardware to come in that we just ordered to get our panels up. So when we get that done, I really don't foresee it being a problem at all. Oh, that's good. That's good. I'm so glad to hear that. So right now we're just, we refill the battery power from the generator outside. Yes. Okay. Make sure I even understand yeah, that right. When it gets low, I've made up a cord to plug the generator from the generator into the system to charge the battery as it gets low. So we don't ruin our battery. Do it again. Uh, no, go down. 
Get on just a hair more. More? Just a tiny. I mean, you're on, you're on it, but. It's wide, like six inches away. Okay. I've already had to work, and I'm upset. Huh? Oh, look at my cable. I had to work. Today's a fish. You show me some? Yeah, yeah. I've had that for. Throw that one in the puddle. Oh, man. Why is the grass so cracked over here? Because it's um, fill dirt, so okay, be so careful. You know that wasn't solid ground when we moved the dirt from up there or higher on the hill down this way? Oh, the ways I have this. All right. You can try to get down. I don't know. I just, it wasn't that quick. Don't fall. Not, I gotta get that looked important. That was the uh, socket. Both of us. What's wrong? I was right here. Floyd was watching butterflies again. <laughs> no, 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 he's watching the butterflies. Oh, did you turn it so fast? Yeah, yeah. Oh. 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 Oh.
Okay. Some more storage, right. more, more amp hours. So tell us how you feel about not having a power bill. Well, it's great. <laughs> it's it's great. You never have to worry about anything. So it is great. I mean, which I worry about lights being on still, but I can't help it. And I drive everybody crazy, watching the battery, watching the power. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we have some appliances that we use to make off grid living a little easier. And on days that um, it's it is cloudy, and we he worries terribly about using the the battery power. Um, we have like a, a coffee maker we can use on the stove and stuff like that. We're going to do a video on, on our off-grid appliances soon too. But I really have no reason to worry. No, I've no, not had any reason to feel like Call I should stress. be concerned all the time, but I just do. Okay, so, so I'll have that on video. Yeah, you do. Mm -hmm. So the next time you're yelling at me about a lighter <laughs> making coffee in the easy I'm, coffee maker. I was framed. <laughs> so thanks for watching. And we hope that you enjoyed or at least learned something from our experience putting in solar panels and hooking up our solar power system. Uh, honestly, we have not missed a beat. It has been good. Um, all the technical stuff tends to make me sleepy. But um, as long as I can make coffee and straighten my afro, I'm good. Jeff thankfully enjoys all the other stuff. Uh, so if you have questions, leave a comment below and I will find the answer for you. Um, we want to be a good resource of information for anyone who's considering making this change because honestly our neighbor Jeff who had put in a much bigger system for himself he he had a lot of answers for us and we had somebody kind of walk us along and um you know that uh that kind of community is is gold so we appreciate that and if we can help um with any information anything we've learned something we maybe we didn't cover in the video uh, ask us and we'll we'll get the answer for you um, we, we pretty much live like we always have and not a, our quality of life hasn't changed. Um, we have two TVs, we have a microwave, um, all the typical things. I will say that we know we don't have air conditioning. Um, we're not suffering though. We run fans. Um, we have, uh, being up on a mountain, there's a lot of wind and it's, it's milder temperatures up here. So it's really not that bad, but I mean we're making it just fine and it's when I think about that think about how little we're lacking it you can't beat it oh and the best part there's no bill which puts us one step closer to our debt-free journey because that's money we can apply to other things and it's you know we are we are going in the right direction so anyway thanks for uh jumping in and uh, going along on this adventure with us and uh yeah pretty soon i'll show you some of the off-grid appliances that i have found that make this even easier um we don't have to worry about using battery power and we still get plenty of things done so um yeah we'll share all that with you soon so just stay tuned for that again thank you for watching like share and subscribe and we'll see you next time